It's Wednesday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 119, verses 1 to 32. Blessed are those whose way is pure, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies and seek him with their whole heart. Those who do no wickedness but walk in his ways. You, O Lord, have charged that we should diligently keep your commandments. O oh, that my ways were made so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then should I not be put to shame, because I have regard for all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. How shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word? With my whole heart have I sought you. O oh, let me not go astray from your commandments. Your words have I hidden within my heart that I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. O oh, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your testimonies than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes and I will not forget your word. O oh, do good to your servant that I may live and so shall I keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger upon earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with fervent longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the arrogant. Cursed are those who stray from your commandments. Turn me from shame and rebuke, for I have kept your testimonies. Rulers also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. For your testimonies are my delight. They are my faithful counsellors. My soul cleaves to the dust. O oh, give me life according to your word. I have acknowledged my ways and you have answered me. O oh, teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments, and so shall I meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away in tears of sorrow. Raise me up according to your word. Take from me the way of falsehood. Be gracious to me through your law. I have chosen the way of truth, and your judgments have I laid before me. I hold fast to your testimonies. O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments when you have set my heart at liberty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
as the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. The reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. It is necessary to boast, nothing is to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me, even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Here ends the reading. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. A song of redemption. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. In him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So let us pray. Almighty God, as we come to you at the beginning of a new day, we lift up to you the day that is ahead of us. We pray that you will direct our paths that in all we do today, we may glorify your name. Father God, we pray for the criminal justice system in our country. We pray for all those who work there and we pray for the victims and the perpetrators of crime. Almighty God, we pray for our social services 
and we pray for those who access that service. Lord, we pray wider for the work of aid agencies across the world and for those living in poverty and under oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all power and might and author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increasing us true religion, nourish us with all goodness and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>